Hey Print Hustlers, Bruce from Printavo, Simple Shop Management Software. Today I've got nine really, really good tips for you to be able to use, and this is how to add more value to your order instead of just compete based on price. Now I know a lot of people suggest that, hey, well, you can keep adding more value to your customer or listening to them, and, and this is how you'll be able to uh, win more jobs, but really, how do you exactly do that? These are nine different ways that we came up, things that we used when we were running a shop before Printavo, things that I see other shops doing that I think that are super helpful for you guys to be able to use. So let's get into it. Number one is design. So remember, every single shirt that comes in has a story behind it, right? They're coming to you not just to want to get something printed, but wanting to tell a deeper story of what happened with them, whether it's a group, whether it's a team, whether it's a company, there's something behind that reasoning that you can ask more info about. You know, when is this looking to happen? What did you, why did you guys decide to do t-shirts? And that way you can be able to open up that conversation and be able to sell additional items that may make sense. For example, if a company like us, which we did, we made these awesome long sleeve t-shirts, shouts out to Rockford Art Deli for helping to print them. They're for our team, for team appreciation. Now, when we talk about, well, yeah, we'd like um, long sleeves and tees just because it's a little bit chilly out now, you know, maybe it's a good idea to get zip ups. Oh, well, actually it's for your team too. Maybe water bottles. And so that's how, again, you open up that conversation. Number two is dropping off orders. This is something that we did, especially on campus, when we were growing a lot, we would drop off orders that helped differentiate us quite a bit. And it would be to right at their door as soon as we sent a notification that the job was done. So that was something nice. And that's something that you could probably charge an additional fee for to help save the customer time so they don't have to drive over and pick them up. Bag and tag, this is pretty classic of an upcharge example. But again, this goes into more personalization, individually bagging items. This could be great for a team as well. Um, and just makes the end customer feel a lot more special. It, probably a lot more geared towards brands and, and clothing brands do a lot of this too to help add more value to their end product. This is a really cool one that we chatted with Ryan Schaffenberger out of Promotions Guy. He helps grow his sales quite a bit using open houses. Now open houses adds a lot more value to his orders because as he explains the printing process to his community and everybody that comes in on a monthly basis, that helps to be able to sell more because then they understand what goes into the process when printing. So instead of somebody saying, what do you mean $8 for sure? I could just print this myself and I get it. Well, they fully get the process behind it and they built that rapport because they're in the shop and you walk them around and you talk to them. And so then they can sell and add more value that way. Now, Ryan actually was telling me that he wants to do more. And I believe he does about monthly open houses for the community, for small businesses. He has events at his shop and that just helps grow the business. Something else that I experienced when I was walking in, I believe it was an eyeglass store, but they just gave me a bottle of water. Sounds really simple, but it made me feel really special and nice and started to create that connection there. So as simple asking, hey, would you like a bottle of water? Or just here, here's a bottle of water and giving it to them. You know what, costs 50 cents or so and makes them feel very special. And of course you can get your label printed or your, your brand printed on the label too. A big one here is just response time. So when customers are emailing you back, getting your response time down to five, 10 minutes even back to a customer and making sure you answer every single phone call is huge for value add. That's one goal that's definitely difficult, something that we work on here at Printavo, but getting that lower and lower and lower, you can easily measure that in any type of support tool. We personally use Zendesk and being able to get back adds so much value. And the reason is, is because it's hard. As you can see, it's hard to do it in your business and to continue scaling that. But that means that if you can do it, it's a strong competitive advantage against competitors. The other thing is just some extra free items inside the box of shirts. This could be um, shirts with your shop logo on it. This could be stickers. This could be any cool jokes or flyers that you put in there. Nice things for them to be able to have that add value and help them remember you for reorder. All right, number eight is speed and turnaround time. This is always a huge value add. This is something that, you know, we've gotten when we've ordered uh, from Vistaprint as an example. You know, they promise two weeks deliver, but you actually get it in one week. You know, under promising, over delivering is 
is a great way of doing that and being able to charge more for that order because the customer is getting those goods a lot quicker. It's a great KPI for your business to be able to measure as well how many jobs that you're delivering before the customer even asks for them. And then lastly, dives a lot deeper into the consultation aspect. So spending more time with the customer, bringing them into some sort of showroom, showing them the different types of fabrics and prints and how they feel, almost like again, you're the consultant and you're helping guide their buying process, adds a lot of value to the order and hopefully helps you be able to charge more as well. If you have other ideas, would love to hear them, drop them in the comments below.